We begin with the Gulf Coast Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals with the very latest on the storm's track, Alan. Well, the latest on Ian has it impacting mostly the Florida Peninsula. We in the NBC 15 area at this point are far enough away that we should not feel any direct, really negative impact, but we are going to watch it closely. Here's where things stand right now. It's a Category 2 off the western tip of Cuba. That's where it's going to strike tonight strengthening in the process. It's moving north northwest at 13 miles an hour. Here's the update on the forecast cone. Notice by the middle of the night winds could go to 120. By the middle of tomorrow afternoon winds could be at 130 on the way to maybe 140. In other words, this will likely become a category four and given the uncertainty in any forecast, it's possible it could get to a category five. But beyond midday Wednesday, there's where things start to really diverge and a couple of things will happen that are really going to throw people off. The first thing is between midday Wednesday to midday Thursday, it's going to slow down. The forward speed is going to slow down and that means even though it will mostly be moving on a smooth path, it may deviate eastward, it may deviate westward. It's not to say it's going to deviate outside of the comb, but those are things that are going to throw people off those days, especially if you're in Tampa or central Florida. That means the impact could linger. So at this point, the earliest landfall could be early Wednesday, close to Fort Myers, Cape Coral, or as late as Friday morning if it heads more toward Apalachicola or Tallahassee. Still far enough away from us that I don't anticipate direct impact. Let's talk about the hurricane force wind. This is the probability of getting wind over 74 miles an hour. Most of that is confined to the west coast of Florida, and then it drops off as you get to north Florida because you may have noticed the wind speed is projected to also diminish as the whole thing goes north because it's going to hit a ridge of high pressure. The other thing is tropical storm force winds, winds that are over 39 miles an hour. And there you see they're definitely going to happen off the west coast of Florida. You move through northwest Florida, getting close to Mobile Bay, and the odds of getting a wind over 39 miles an hour, we're talking 5, 10, 15 percent. So again, at this point, we are okay. Florida's not okay. A whole variety of watches and warning for tropical storm uh, wind, hurricane force wind, storm surge that is not just at the beach, storm surge that goes inland. And then there's the threat of the rain, which the rain is going to come down, maybe a foot of rain in central Florida. So flash flood watches issued for that part of the Sunshine State. And then once this system gets into the Gulf tomorrow and begins moving north, the threat of tornadoes is going to pick up. We are doing fine. We've got a few thunderstorms right now. A warm day, but pleasant weather for tomorrow. I'll show that to you in just a few minutes.